Hi everyone, I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I had started doing these, I put them under my playlist under distinctions. In other words, basically me having thoughts about various subjects and how the effect could have to do with exercise or philosophy or politics or just various ramblings by Rick. Today I'm thinking about um, getting stronger and muscular and injuries. And of course, as you may know, if you know anything about me, as part of my uh, methods is to avoid hurting yourself while getting stronger. But what I want to talk about is once you have stronger muscles, do those stronger muscles protect you from injury in, in other activities? And the general answer is yes, but with some caveats. Because typically, if you're stronger, your muscles will withstand various forces that you may expose yourself to better and provide sort of a, a cushion or a shock absorber. But here's the caveat. If, for example, you are participating regularly in a skilled, vigorous activities, let's say, for example, in Canada, you're a hockey player, recreationally or otherwise, and you are getting stronger from a proper strength training program while at the same time continuing to play hockey on a regular or semi-regular basis. What's happening is your skill practice and your muscle enhancement are sort of being done simultaneously. So your hockey playing is getting used to your stronger muscles and vice versa. Having said that, what if you are getting much stronger and then you go into an activity that you have not done before uh, or not done in a long time so let's use hockey again you haven't skated in a while you haven't shot in a while you haven't done these things maybe never and you may go into that activity this is not a theory a suspicion of mine you may go into that activity overly confident about your abilities or the degree to which you are able to exert yourself during that activity because of the fact that, hey, you're in great shape, you've been working out, and you're stronger than you've ever been. But in fact, because your skill in that given activity is not great, you may be doing things awkwardly, and you may be doing things in a way that is not tracking proper joint and muscle function. And if you're doing that with great enthusiasm and effort, your stronger muscles my thinking is that they may be able to actually create forces on certain joints, ligaments, and other things that can actually injure you more than if you didn't have those stronger muscles. So the message is now the people who are into quote unquote cross training will use this reasoning as a, a motive or a justification for practicing many different activities at the same time. And their argument would be that by doing this, you're not, you're, you're getting ready for all the different activities. However, I would disagree with this because it's based on erroneous assumptions about skill practice and one activity carrying over to another activity. That would only make sense if you somehow in some magical world were able to practice every imaginable activity on a regular basis and get good at all of them because doing something in one activity to get prepared for another simply goes against the science about skill acquisition and why would you bother bother to do an activity to be ready for it that you would never normally want or need to do in regular life so for many people they're uh, other activities inc include playing with their grandkids, unloading groceries from the car, doing work in the garden and things like that. So they don't need to do anything special. And those other activities usually carry a high, higher chance of injury and whatnot. Of course, if they're doing that for recreation, that's a different story altogether. So my message is with the, rather than try to practice some sort of cross training and try to somehow magically prepare yourself for any given circumstances, Despite the fact that you may be in great shape and you may be stronger than you ever been through a proper strength training program, whenever you start to do an activity that is new to you or that you haven't done in a long time, and that you already haven't done since you've gotten considerably stronger, 
you should always start that activity just as cautiously as if you were quote unquote out of shape and go into it carefully and not overdo it. And that could be as simple as moving a heavy piece of furniture and getting overconfident thinking I'm strong, I'll be able to move this heavy piece of furniture because I've been working out in the gym. But if you don't do it properly, you bend the wrong way and suddenly yank on it or whatever, you could wind up hurting yourself as a result of the stronger muscles uh, as opposed to those muscles actually protecting you, which would be the case or by, in some cases will be the case. It just depends on where the force is coming from. The force can come from the weight of the object that you're moving or the force can come from the sudden uh, explosive move of you trying to yank something off the ground and your ability to do so even more forcefully because you have stronger muscles. So anyways, getting stronger is good. In general, it protects you from injury, but it does not take away the need to be careful when doing any activity that you're not used to doing. So always practice caution and never think to yourself that any kind of fitness is going to carry over magically to other activities. That has to do with skill, it has to be learned slowly and properly. Anyways, bye for now. Hope this made some sense for you.